All right, we are back playing some My Sims Agent. I think last time we were asked to go to Evelyn's house to solve a, another mystery. So I think we're just going to head over there right now. Uh, and we also... Um, oh, we might have to fly there. But we also made it uh, into the spy agency, which is really cool. What does Yuki have to say? Yuki is not, uh, Yuki likes the view from up here. Many faces driving by down. Okay. Aren't you not allowed in here? You're not allowed in here. Oh, I got a message from... Uh, Travis has arrived and is looking up at the cat, trying to decide what to do. I've mentioned that gaining a cat's trust is harder than it looks. I feel like these texts are going to get a little bit of... Um, but we probably do have to reach up to the third. Because that's where the helicopter is. Airplane thing. Or I might just have to talk to Jenny. <laughs> I totally forgot. It's been a while. Um, I'm just so new to this game because it's been a while. I've played. Uh, okay, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Okay. How do I get back, though? Hey, buddy. What do you think? Alright. Um, I think I might just have to go back out. Roxy? What does she have to say? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Roxy. Roxy, what do I... Roxy, don't run away from me. No. Hey, what's up? Hello, Jake. I think I have everything here almost set up. I've got all the latest equipment for remote molecular destruction. Hands-free and dust-free. Aw, so she's kind of like a neat freak. She's so cute. I love Roxy. All right. I think... Oh, take train dust. So I think we have to go back into... Question mark. Uh, Evelyn Gray is a mysterious woman. She seems genuinely frightened, but... Was Jenny right about her? I can't shake the feeling that Evelyn knows more than she's letting on. I wonder what Buddy thought about our uh, enigmatic guest. Interesting. <laughs> I had a hamster named Evelyn once. <laughs> I love Buddy. Okay, Evelyn should be outside her apartment. I should go talk to her. Where is that apartment? Okay, let's see what is up. Buddy and I are here to save the day once again. Oh, and I forgot how much lag the city street has. Uh, horrible. I apologize. All right, let's see. What is up with Miss Evelyn? No, don't damn it the car. Yeah, idiot. All right, hello, Evelyn. I have a couple of questions. Okay, Jake. Um, any additional info you can give me about the prep you saw escaping? Or the perp you saw escaping? Uh, not really. Just that she was wearing that uh, red and gray Morky Pork Morky Pork uniform. Had you had any problems with Morky Pork in the past? No, never. So whatever interest they have in you, it's new. Uh, yes, I took a quick inventory. It looks like they stole some jewelry and some other random stuff. What random stuff did they take? Oh, they also took some of my dad's old stuff, a letter and none of one of his research journals. Aha, if this was a simple burglary, uh, they wouldn't have had use for those. I'm on it, Evelyn. What's a solid, that's a solid lead. 
Okay, so let's go into her apartment. I think there might be one more question I could ask her. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, I'll be reading. Okay, Travis. I hope we get some good luck from our boy here. Okay, I'm going to try to communicate with the cat, Gant, trust. I know I'll use my phone to play some bird or squirrel noises. Which should I play? Uh, if I don't hear from you within a few minutes, I'll choose one randomly. I'm going to say bird, because uh, I think dogs are more into squirrels. Okay, I'm heading in. Alright, so this is the scene of the crime. Why did an intruder have to treat all the books so poorly? Uh, there was no reason to throw them around. Gosh, even the pictures on the wall have been rummaged through. This was no simple burglary. Anything under the bed? Ooh, okay. A coupon for Gino's Pizzeria. Pizzeria coupon? Is this Evelyn's? I could ask her. Um, the drawer. The dresser seems to have been disturbed by the intruder. Nice has been thoroughly ransacked. Uh, what was the intruder looking for? There's a bunch of pictures of Evelyn. Oh, a receipt from Shirley's place for a haircut. Okay, I mean, that's kind of typical. There's Shirley's and Gino's just right around the corner. Wow, I'm gonna sit here and hang out. What about this ink? Looks like someone might have spilled some ink here. Perhaps this ink got stepped in. Ooh. Aha. The criminal broke in and left through the window. More prints out there. Really? Who goes completely out there? I think we have to go outside now. I don't know if we can question Evelyn. Oh uh, yeah, that's my salon receipt. I went to Shirley's yesterday to get my hair done. It looks nice. Thanks for the info. Okay, the criminals didn't have anything to do with this. No. I wouldn't assume the pizza is either. Uh, I'm allergic. To oh, okay. She's never at Gino's place. Ah, must have been from one of the culprits then. I love it when criminals drop things. Okay, so she doesn't eat pizza. Okay, there's the window. Can we get into that her neighbors? Uh... So does that mean that they just kind of escape? Because I don't think I can go next door. Uh, and Travis has something. Well, the cat didn't like that at all. It's giving me a really distrustful look. Well, I thought that cats liked her. I don't know what to say, Travis. All right. I think we could go to Gino. Shirley's. Oh, hello. Uh, Shirley's place is like totally out of the question. <laughs> Rhonda, what are you doing? Stop following me. Uh, the trail fades away from here. Did the criminal do anything in town square? All right. Uh, let's check some stuff out. Alright, buddy's just team buddy. Is there anything I can find around the plaza that might in the K Lewis? Hello. Hi Lewis, have you heard about the break in at Evelyn's apartment? I did. I think it's going to be in tomorrow's paper. Speaking of papers, would you like to buy one? Maybe later, Lewis. Alright. Still talking about college. Hmm. 
What about Sam? Um, what's her name again? Rhonda. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. I haven't skipped that way too quickly. I'm just thinking, what could be around here that could possibly be referred to as evidence? The parking meter? Oh. I don't think. Oh, behind the salon. Ah, a letter addressed to Dr. Gray. They stole the letter to Evelyn's dad. They stole the letter to Evelyn's dad, but didn't keep it. Uh, oh, they must have been after something else. Hey, uh, why was Evelyn's ransacked? Walker, I was just looking for a good way to keep up the. Oh my god, keep up to the cat now. I told him he could just climb the tree, but he located a ladder rental service nearby. Doing that. Okay. Uh, I feel like. We should maybe check out Gino's because I heard that's kind of where some of the stuff went on. So I'm just going to check his place out. Gino. Has there been anyone new recently? Yes, actually a young man in a red and gray uniform. Or a young woman. <laughs> she had some of my filet mignon pizza and I gave her a coupon. Oh really, where did she sit? At the table against the wall near the door. Hey. This one right here. Examine. I wonder if the customer left any. Right. Ah, it's a napkin with a note written on the back. Meet me in the forest. Meet in the forest. Did anyone see the papers meeting in the forest? Or the... I caution. I cannot read tonight. Did anyone see the perps meeting in the forest? Uh, let's start with Mr. Gino. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I did, Jake. It's terrible. Search my maps. Now this. It's like some kind of madman is terrorizing us. Uh, please don't worry, Gino. I'll get to the bottom of it. Gino's not really helpful right now. I feel like Sandra finally might be on to something. But I, oh, there she is. Wait, what is this? These are the flowers left for Shirley. Very pretty. I didn't know that I could pick those up. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Ron. I love you, but I am yet to find any use for you in my memories. Okay. Shirley. Oh my gosh, yes, hon. It's so scary. What if he had broken into my salon and stolen my new uh, Olali fairy hair gel? That is terrifying to think about. I know, right? Anyway, good luck with the case. Really not too much help. Evelyn has something to say about this. That. Go back. Alrighty. So, I think maybe I'll check out whoever is near the. Which Poppy is usually here. And I was about to say Travis is usually here, but. Um. ladders up but the cat keeps backing away from it should we have travis go up the ladder or try to climb up the tree directly uh... 
climb up the tree directly. <laughs> oh. Okay. I feel like I've to ask people. Oh, Poppy. Poppy and uh forgot his name because he's rude to me. Hey Poppy, anything weird going on recently in the forest? Hmm, I don't think I've seen anything weird. Okay, thanks, Poppy. Oh no, wait a second. Okay, what is it? Oh, Derek's name. Derek did give me a bunch of shiny rocks to hold on to, but I gave him I gave them to Dogwood because he likes shiny things. Fantastic, thanks, Poppy. Poppy dog buried evidence. Where, where can I find it? Yes. Nothing here. Okay. Uh, did Derek see any? No way, I don't want to talk to you. Come on, Derek. Just talk to me. Uh, Derek, stop being mean. I'm just doing my job. Okay. Um... <laughs> Are you threatening me? Oh, that's his aunt, surely. Let's not do that, okay. Um, why are you involved in all this? Hey, everybody wants to be on the winning team, right? So you're helping Market Corp rob people's apartments? Just one apartment. Okay, okay. It was the Market Corp boons. They robbed the apartment and they gave some guy a book at the meeting. That's all. A book exchange? Who's the guy who took it? I don't know him, I promise. Fine, we're done here. All right. Derek confessed he saw the Market Corp operants or operatives give some man the journal. Was that all they wanted? Okay, so who was the journal? Oh, Leaf! Uh, what a coincidence to find a new HQ recruit in the forest. Okay. I love Leaf. Oh my gosh. He was in my Sim Sims Kingdom. He's so cute. Bingo, it's Evelyn's jewelry. Evelyn's jewels were stolen, but ended up being buried by Dogwood. Doesn't seem like they needed those. Alright. Uh, I should report my findings to Evelyn. Alright, thank you, thank you very much, kids. See a dog. I kind of want to talk to Dogwood. I... Hi, Dogwood. Woof. Yeah, I know. Things are pretty crazy with Morky Corp. Grr, woof. <laughs> right. Uh, that's what worries me. But we'll just have to wait and see. Take care, Dogwood. Love Dogwood. All right, let's go back to Evelyn. See what she has to say. I feel like we're definitely on to something with this case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Evelyn, Evelyn. Oh. All right, I figured out what Morcubus was after. Really, what was it? Evelyn, I've got good news and bad news. I'll take the good news first. The good news is that I found the letter and the jewelry here. Oh, here you are. The bad news, it took your journal. Apparently, there was an exchange between the Morky Corp goons and an unknown male recipient in the forest. My father's journal it had all of this research notes on it. Who would want to steal it? My guess, the mayor, Skip Rogers. I've already connected him to dealings with Morcubus. Well, let's go arrest him. Throw him in prison. Let him sit in a cell. Not so fast, Evelyn. I need concrete proof, and I intend to find it. I'll be waiting outside City Hall. I want to be there when this goes down. Ooh, I should try confronting Skip directly. And I guess that is what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. So, uh, I will... See y'all in the next one. Bye.